Everybody, it's Dave Blucek at 66 here for another video. Pretty unusual of me to do uh, relatively back-to-back -back videos, at least ones that are so close together, but I uh, thought I'd do one uh, as it pertains to the Heritage Auction ending January 21st. I did kind of a REA sneak peek, roll through the auction, uh, items that I thought were interesting that I was going for. So I thought I'd do it uh, for this one. In February, there's a premier uh, uh, our, uh, heritage auction that probably have more high-end inter interesting things in it. But this is a pretty good auction, and uh, I don't want to do this regularly where it becomes my shtick, because I don't want to do that. But uh, I thought I'd kind of roll through this, because I looked at some items that are, uh, I think, uh, somewhat unique and some of them are not unique but they're in a grade kind of a collector grade where some of us could be going for these a lot of times I do videos and I show cards and people have never seen them before and that continues to blow me away uh, I would still think you, people should get the standard catalog of vintage card prices and uh, just have that so you can always look up cards and look through it when you're in the bathroom or lounging around and it just it's all the vintage cards prior uh, 1980 but let's go through this heritage, and I may uh, call some of you out. I'm going to go through 20 items, and you know, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of items. I, I don't know how many, 4,000, 5,000 in this auction. Uh, and I picked out 20 that I just thought uh, were kind of maybe interesting cards for our community and our community that collects vintage and pre-war. Uh, that uh, yeah, boy, I would be thrilled to death if someone in the community would buy one of these cards that I show. And maybe you'll see one that's uh, right for you. We'll take a look. Okay, here we go. I've got 20 items, so I don't want to make this too long. But I've already looked at all of these. And I'm just going to type in each lot number uh, that I want to look at. And uh, we'll go about it. The first one is not, that's not it. Typed in the wrong number. All right, I thought this was really interesting. This is a uh, 1913 uh, baseball stars and notebook of of uh, Joe Tinker, Hall of Famer Tinker. Now, hold on, I gotta get this. Sorry, I'm really terrible on the computer. All right, so, uh, boy, for you Tinker fans, if there's any people that collect Tinker, this is really a, a scarcity. And right now, it looks like it sits at uh, $145. It's a blank back. I used to, I think they used to think it was a strip card, but uh, now they realize it's it's cut off a notebook from back in the day. Uh, small numbers appeared to be hand cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Issued around 1913. Tinker. And this is just beautiful. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think I have seen that before. So that's the 1913 uh, baseball series notebooks. This was a picture on a kid's notebook cover that they had back in the day. Uh, very popular. And um, uh, I think that's an awesome item, especially if you're a Tinker collector, you may be able to get that for a good price. Thought that was cool. Let's go to what I have next. And I'm just, I'm terrible at this. Okay, you know I'm a Hires Root Beer fan. Right, the 1958 Hires Root Beer. I have the high graded um, Aaron and Maze, and I have the Tish Tissue, Test Tissue Maze with Tab. But this is the complete set of 66. Uh, they're not all graded, but um, um, they're just, looks beautiful to me. Let, let's see what they say. Um, here's the backs. Here's some of the others. 
Um, six cars have been graded by uh, STC, and they're pretty good grades. Um, Dobie's a five, Aaron's a six, um, Snyder's a five. So they're pretty darn nice. I think that's a cool thing. If someone would win that lot, I would be very uh, jealous. I, I've come across this before uh, at the National, um, the complete set, but I don't know. They weren't in, in, all in the greatest shape, and boy, these are just beautiful, really beautiful. So that's, the I think, a cool thing, uh, the 58 Hires Root Beer. Uh, let's go to the next one that I think is cool. Okay, we were just, I just did my video on autograph cards. This is 53 Bowman, obviously, signed. And this auction has a crud load of signed cards. But what makes this, to me, really cool is that signature. That's a early Mantle signature. That's, that's pre-56, pre-57 Mantle signature. That is, uh, I think that's special. Unlike a lot of his autograph cards, I don't think are. That is really special. Uh, right now it's at sixty-seven fifty. Who knows what it will go for? But I thought I'd show that one. Not at, not that this one of these cards that I wanted to show off is might be interesting to the the community uh, as far as buying it. But I thought that was uh, pretty sweet. We'll move on here. Now, I love D cards and I love uh, uh, candy cards and really love bakery cards. But uh, this one, is, may, if you're a collector, this one might be a nice one to go for you. This would be coveted. This is the um, the 1916 Fleischmann Bakery. Uh, it doesn't have the tab at the end. There was a t tab on the bottom that would cut off. And there's a Ferguson bakery that has a little bit of different uh, bottom on it, but essentially the same image. I used to have the Matthewson without the tab, uh, the Fleischmann's. Uh, that, I made a video on my biggest regrets of cards I got rid of, and that is near the top of the list. Um, and the st I did the story on me selling it. But 1960 Fleischmann Bakery, uh, Grover Al Cleveland Alexander, who looked always old, I guess. But right now, it's only $390, and that is, in my eyes, a super, super cool card. Now, the next one is, uh, I think I'm going to do a dual card. Let's see what we've got here. Yes, uh, the 23V117 Maple Crispette. V is the... Uh, designation for Canadian. Um, it's a 1.5. This, I, I will make uh, disclosures on what I'm bidding, gonna at least effort to bid for and uh, what I already own. I think I'm gonna make an effort to bid on this one. I'm sure I'll get shut out at it. It's only at $1,250 now. Let's look at the back. It's got some paper loss on the back. Heritage does not have a really good uh, way of me zooming in on it. It's the way that REA, you just hover over it and it zooms, unfortunately. Um, but I think that's a card I'm going to look at. I think probably Rick Vintage Oddball Cards will be looking at that card as well as this next one. Which is uh, the Maple Crispet Cobb. I think I have a higher interest in this one because I think it'll be significantly more affordable. I do not have this. I have no Maple Crispet cards. Canadian issue. Let's see what it says here. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Feature portrait of Cobb that may have even the the uh, may have even have scared the photographer. A little roughness along the edge, some corner wear, light crease, etc. 
uh, one of two cards graded this level. There are just 22 total graded by SGC. So that's the uh, Maple Crisp Bat that I think is a cool card. Uh, and I'm a big Cobb collector, and I encourage you to collect Cobb cards, to be honest with you. Let's go to the next one that I'm looking at, or looking at for you guys. I'm maybe rushing through it, but I don't want to make this too long. I thought this was really interesting. 1948 Ted Williams Jimmy Fun Hanging Tag. I've never seen this before. Um, it's in a five. I've never seen it before. Um, 1948 Jimmy Fun Hanging Tag uh, with graphics resting low. Halls from the season. Where he had his fourth uh, batting crown, and on the back, uh, there's some uh, at this Children's Cancer Research Foundation, at the Jimmy Fund that I guess he participated in. I've never seen that before. So you Ted Williams people, I don't know. Right now it sits at $125. To be honest with you, I have zero clue if this is going to end at $130 or $4,000. I have no idea. I suspect now that it's only at $125 that... Uh, it may not be too expensive, but I think that that's quite cool. Let's move on to the next one. Now these police gazettes, I really like. These are about the these are larger than an eight by eleven piece of paper. These came out of the police gazette uh, paper, uh, and there's hundreds of different subjects on this. This is the uh, Jim Thorpe, and I'm never, I don't think I've seen the Jim Thorpe before. I've seen a, uh, a lot of them, but uh, full-page portrait. Um, it, Police Gazette debuted in 1845 um, and was the combination of the modern-day National Enquirer and Sports Illustrated. Uh, and they had uh, 11 by 16 page. It's really good condition. Uh, I think that that it would make a fantastic item to frame and there's not a lot of Jim Thorpe stuff out there and that's him playing baseball from 1917 um, I may have to go back and, and bid on that maybe I have bid on it I, I don't know but I think that's an awesome item let's move on Oh, this isn't a wow. This is a wow thing. This is going to go for a lot of money. This is uh, the Colgan's Chips, 1909 Colgan's Chips, um, set, complete set of 292. My God, number one on the registry. So I, ha I showed you the cob I have, and uh, holy mo! I mean, 292 complete set, number one on the registry. Um, following that, because I want to see how much that goes for. Uh, there's Wagner, Cobb, Cy Young, you know, yeah, Evers, Plank. Uh, just sweet. So that's just one I wanted to show. Not that I thought that there was a big uh, community interest. Now... Growing, growing amount of Clemente collectors out there in our group. And I have this one. I own this one. I think I own it in a seven. I'm, I'm not sure. But the 62 cons wieners. So I was going through the cons. I was going for the cons wieners run up through 63, which is all the black and whites. You know, 57 through 63. But... Um, I don't have the 63, and the 58 is so freaking expensive that I've kind of given up on it. But I do have this one, and I think that this one is, you know, beautiful. It's in a four. What's the matter with it? I don't know. Not much. It looks it looks fine. Um, Heritage isn't real good about saying what the heck's wrong with the card, but... Um, this is a beautiful thing, and uh, I think 62 is one of the easier to get ones. Maybe it's not as popular pose. I don't know. I really like it, but be watching for that. You think about bidding on that one. That might be very affordable. Let's go on. What is this? Uh, you know, I really like these star, star Cal decals, 1952. There's type 1 and type 2. 
whether or not they have a sticker or decal of themselves or uh, the other type is where there's someone else with them. And normally, you actually you see these most often still in the red packaging and they're almost always graded authentic because um, there's some degree of wear on the packaging and you never know what's inside. But uh, I don't see them very often that, are, that don't have the envelope. This is still graded authentic, uh, I suppose, because to get a grade, I think it has, I think it has to be part it's still in the envelope. Um, here's the back. It's a decal. I like that a lot. And you, you don't, I, you know, when they're in the envelope, there you can only see the image kind of through a window, a cellophane window in the uh, in the package. So you don't actually see this whole image if you have one that's in the package unopened. So I like this a lot. It's currently at $290. I don't know what it's gonna go for. Um, but uh, that's something for you guys to look at. I think that's a awesome item. Next, we, we talked about uh, these Cations when I talked about my Warsh Cigar in my last video. Here is the uh, the Gary gets in a 1.5. Looks like it's got some writing on the back. Um, uh, don't really care that it's got writing on the back. Uh, that's just beautiful. Another Conlon image. Freaking love that. I think that would be good for a lot of our uh, maybe baseball collector. He's a Gary guy, and that's just. <laughs> Ooh, that's sweet. I do not own that. Um, we'll look at the Ruth. I showed it in my last video. It too is in a 1.5. It looks like this. whoever owned it uh, wrote on that one too, which is uh, fine. But that's just ultra cool. Um... Look at that. I just think that's fantastic. Something for you guys to look at. It's currently at $420. Halfway through, maybe let's find something else for you guys to get. What do we got here? There it is. Okay, I'm tired of hearing it. Tired of hearing you crybabies. Tell me how much you covet and want the 68 Tops 3D Bob Clemente. Uh, I have one. I have one in a five. They've been coming out of the woodwork recently. And lo and behold, here is a 1.5. Um, the reason it's a one... I don't, I don't think I can zoom in on this. Let me see. I th maybe I can. Um... Well, there you go. You can see out the edge here. There's just some tiny bit of cracking there, just on the edge. It looks fantastic. You know, uh, really looks fantastic. Let's look at the back. Oops, I suck. Um, see what the backs look like, just Got a little stuff on the back. Who gives a who? Very interesting. Very interesting. Let me look at that a little. Because that looks like that may have had that rarer writing on it where it says that it's the Z. Yeah. See that writing on it? That's a, a rarer variation where it says it's a xenograph and it says that it's a test issue etc mine's just blank back but that looks like that's been either faded off or rubbed off let me see what the if there's a description about that let me see what they say mm. they don't even mention the back which they really should uh, but anyway Okay, guy. I mean, come on. I know some of you out there have been wanting this card for a long time. 1.5s do not come up. 
the higher grade ones, you know, there's only like 60 of them and the high grade ones come up far more than this because uh, it's got a little cracking along it and there it is. And I bet on it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for it. I already have one and, and I'm not one to double up on cards, but I really hope one of you guys, come on, gets it. I don't know what it's going to go for, um, but we'll see. But um, I'd love to see one of you guys get that because if, if you don't bid on that and don't try for it, you people tonight, and you know who you are, I don't want to hear about it in, ever again because this is your chance. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, I own this card. You guys, come on. <laughs> you like your Jimmy Fox. You like your pre-war cards. We show cards. The, the buttercream I have, uh, the Jimmy Fox, the Ruth is the huge one in this. This is just super cool. Um, so it, it, it's, it's, it's an R card. It's buttercream. Um, it's a pretty rare card. I think there's there's probably just 25 of these. There's a contest on the back. And what you do is, uh, um, for this confectionery company, you would, I think, write your name. And I think you would write what their batting average was supposed to be uh, on the date on the back of this card. And you send it in. If you were closest, you would win something. I've, I've done a video on it, but darn it, I, I kind of forgot what the deal was. But... You know, you may like your Gowdy's Jimmy Fox, or uh, I've got a, a DeLong Jimmy Fox that I love, but I really love this buttercream. That is a rare issue. It's very, very thin, very uh, sensitive to uh, 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 destruction of the card because it's just so thin. And that that survived in a three, I highly recommend that. That would be impressive. That might be a card for, like, Andy. She blinded me with refractors. I can see him pulling this off and just making you guys look like a bunch of dorks because you passed by on it. Just saying, let's go to the next one. And this is another one. I'm just throwing it out there. The 54 Dandy Potato Chips. Yes, I own that. I own it at 7. This is a 2, and it's gorgeous. Completely gorgeous. This is your chance. To own one of, in my book, uh, Mantle's most beautiful cards. He's got that, you know, that image that I love that you see on the uh, Stallmeyer and the Briggs. It's just beautiful. And for this to be in a lovely two, currently at $825. Uh, I, know, I know that's a lot of money, but. Oh, man, you can have yourself a fantastic dandy uh, mantle. Uh, if I didn't have one, I, I would be bidding on that all night long. I don't know how I'd bid up. Go to VCP. Find out. I don't know. But that's just a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, see what else do I have picked out for you guys. This one I, I thought was interesting. Now, remember, there's thousands and thousands of high-end, beautiful, crazy, wonderful. I'm just picking out ones that I thought our community uh, kind of falls within our community. Now, these, these 73 Tops pinups are really scarce. I have a uh, Nolan Ryan, and there's just a couple Nolan Ryans. So not only is this uh, 73 Tops pinups is test issue very rare, but it's signed, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, it says, it seems if you didn't live in the upper Midwest in 1973, you never saw this test series. Um, it's, I, I believe the, the pinup was actually the wrapper. So it, this was the outside and it was folded all around. And this was on the inside. So I have the Nolan Ryan of this. You do not see these tops pinups very often at all. And I thought it was kind of cool because it's signed because you guys, you guys like these fake autographs. So I thought I would have you take a look at that one. Um, what do I got next? That I think is great for our community. Now, 
I I really just had a big interest in bidding on this card, the 49 Leaf DiMaggio, number one card. But I because I love the yellow rather than the green, and that just looks super sharp in a five. But the registration stinks. I mean... I, I can't I can't do this, but I mean just it's just I can't do it. That just registration is just too terrible. You know, I love the colors. I just love the colors, but that registration does not do it for me, but I thought I'd show it to you. Um, number one, the 49 leaf Joe DiMaggio with his beautiful colors and nice centering. It's just the registration. Dang it, those leaf. Okay, so I was going to go for that, not that. Here's another one for you. I'm, man, I would just, come on, guys. This is, this is, this is right up my alley, and why you guys aren't all over something like this. Uh, 54 Johnston Cookies, his rookie. It's a beautiful card. It's so rare. It makes the 54 tops just look like, common 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 in a nice three i have one in an eight but i got a long time ago i lucked out i could never reach for that now but oh my it just just a just a wonderful card um i'd love to see one of you pick that up it really looks super duper let's see if they have an explanation for why it's a three. I doubt they s said it, but I mean, this is a cards when I see. I just think of collectors in our community, and mm, that's another one. That's one for baseball collector right there. That's it. Get it. Uh, let me see if they say what why it's a three. No, they don't, which, uh, you know, I imagine there's a micro wrinkle or somewhere. But there it is, the 54, and I love this set. I love the 54, Aaron. I love love the uh, 55, Aaron. I have that in a nine. And again, I got it a long time ago, so I'm lucky. But uh, true rookie card in a box of cookies up north. Super, super, super. And along those lines, um, this one I think I'm going to bid on. I'd bid on one previously in an auction, and someone uh, let me know that it was fake. I have no idea how to tell a fake. Um, we had the 54 Spick and Span, uh, Hank Aaron. There's little cooties on the it's a postcard. There's a little something on the back here. Um, let's see what they say. Rookie Era, one of Hank's earliest cards, Scarce Regional. And Regionals is what I'm all about. So I, it's right now at $160. Again, don't ask me what it's going to go for. I don't know. I don't really know about prices. So I tend to uh, sometimes track cards that I already own that I see in auctions just to see what they're doing. But um, I will probably bid on that card. Uh, and I think... Uh, Aaron Collectors. I forget about the 72, Aaron. How about a nice 54 spick and span a regional issue? Um, this one's interesting. So I showed you my Jackie picture pack card, and I told you that I wanted... And I did get that uh, mantle I was looking at, and I told you that I, I, I wanted the 48 Cleveland Indians picture pack. And now this is interesting to me, because I looked at this card and I said, this doesn't, something's wrong with this. So I don't know how to do this, but let me go back and forth. So this is lot number 58963. Um... It's his picture pack photo that measures 6.5 by 9. It was part of a 30 photo series. Uh, in addition to the Indians team issued photo pack, this image was also used on his 49 Bowman, as you can tell. Uh, so here it is. Now we'll look at that. And the next lot is another one. But look, it's, it's different. Um, Let's toggle back and forth. Look at the amount of room between Indians 
and the bottom of it and the top of his hat on this one versus this one. Look at all this room down here and up here. And they're both, this one, this one says the exact same thing, 6.5 by 9 as part of a third. It says the exact same read, but uh, it's a different size. It's like he's panned out more on this one. So, so you guys that know about this, tell me, why is that? 48 picture pack, Cleveland Indian satchel page. Same image, but one's kind of panned in and the others are panned out or whatever, or vice versa. Why is that? Uh, I think that's pretty cool. I, I wish Tops would do better. You got, you got to, or PSA, you, you've got to do better. That's, that's, well, all right. Um, let's do one more. We'll just end with, you know, with a wow card. Sure, that's not it. Uh, let me see. Oh, I guess that is it. Um, that's not a wild card. What did I do here? Mm, let's just search for it. Because I obviously put that in wrong. Um... I just wanted to show you the M1015 Ruth. Um, I guess I won't. So that's, yeah, let me find it. It's just nice to see, uh, to look at a kind of a holy grail card from once. This isn't a 5.5. It's blank back. It's a rookie card. And, you know, it's, who knows how much right now. It's at $320,000. But it's always fun to look at that. That's a something else. Something else. Okay, so take your a look through those. Rethink about maybe what you're collecting Maybe broaden yourself a little bit, but everybody collects what they like. But uh, when I look through there, I kind of think about the community, and I just picked out some cards that I thought uh, that you guys would find interesting. That you know, no one wants to look at all half a million dollar cards. Anybody can look at that uh, because none of us can afford it. But some of these others are, are regional cards. Uh, they're scarcer. They're less commonly seen, and they're not necessarily high dollar. So uh, I thought those shows show you those and. Uh, you know, make your way through these auctions and just kind of look and learn. And uh, uh, I'm for broadening my horizons too. So that's it. Uh, I know I just had a video the other day, had this one. So uh, happy new year and talk to you later.